Hi everyone, I have a super motivating video for you. Today I'm tackling my kitchen. My kitchen is huge, okay? And at first glance, it doesn't look that dirty, but I'm showing you my deep dark secrets here. My microwave seriously needs a deep clean. Um, my sink is not as full of dishes as it normally is. I've been really trying to keep track on those. Um, my stove top is a hot mess as usual. My oven needs a deep clean, so we're gonna be tackling that as well. But the biggest project on my to-do list are my floors. I hate my tile floors. They're real stone. The camera makes them look uglier than they are. They're not that orange in real life, I promise. Um, but it's honestly the grout lines that I've been struggling with since we moved into this house. This floor is incredibly hard to keep clean. We don't really allow shoes in our house, but we come in through the main um, side kitchen door and in, in through the garage in the, in the kitchen. Um, so the kitchen does get shoes worn in it more than any other area of the house because this is where we take our shoes off. So. Um, no shoes in the house rule here, but the kitchen does get more of the brunt of like dirt and, and stuff coming in from inside. But before we tackle all that, I had to tidy up the rest of my kitchen. So I'm going to put the dishes away. I'm going to tackle the sink full of dishes and all the other kind of like surface level cleaning that needs to get done before we get into the, the nitty gritty of the kitchen deep clean. So on this particular day, I was listening to a book um, from a lady that I've been following on TikTok for a long time, Casey Davis. I think her name on TikTok is Domestic Blisters. I don't know if anyone else um, follows her on TikTok or not. She also has a podcast that I listen to. Um, and this book was so good. It's called How to Keep a House While Drowning. And it, it talks about like struggle care and self-care and um, just like... <sighs> the dishes aren't morally, um, you know, dishes aren't moral. You're not a good or bad person because you have a sink full of dishes. And if you do things in a different way, because your brain, it makes more sense to your brain. It's not the wrong way. Like you do like, I, it's funny. Cause I was like, as I was listening to this book, I was like, ah, the, like, I've kind of been saying the same things on my, um, videos. Like this is the way that works for me and my brain is this maybe the right way or the most efficient way. Probably not but this works for me. Um, so I really connected with that. So I don't know. Um, I, you know, I subscribe to Audible, so I get like different credits a month and I used one of my credits on um, the book. I think the book was like 10 bucks if you bought it outright, um, but it was really good and it was a very like quick read. I think it was like three hours, but another thing is I also listen to my audiobooks on like one and a half to speed just because that's the way my brain works. Anything else is really, really slow to me. I'm a super fast reader. Like I've always been a super fast reader. Um, so when I switched over to audiobooks, I was like, oh my gosh, these people are speaking so slow. I need it to be faster. Like I need my brain absorbs the content when it's like super fast. So um, 
it was like a very short book for me, but it was perfect when I was working in the kitchen and it kept me going and got me motivated. And the whole time I'm like, oh my gosh, that's me. Oh my gosh, I relate. So it was super, super good read. So what I had done was I stuck that jar, um, that measuring cup full of water and I added lemon juice just for the smell. And what you do is you put it in your microwave for five minutes and it like steams everything so that it is so easily like wiped away. Now my rag has water and a little, as you can see, there's a little bit of suds. I had a little bit of the Dawn on there. Um, so I'm just wiping it away and then I'll go back through with a paper towel and wipe it um, and put the little turn turnstile back. But this is like seriously the easiest way to clean your microwave. I do use those hover covers on top, but you know, I'm I'm not the only one that uses this microwave. My kids try, my husband tries to also use the hover covers. Those were sent to me from a subscriber. And so thank you so much to whoever sent those to me because um, it really helps us like keep a lot cleaner and better smelling microwave than we used to. Um, now if only I could keep my stove clean, that's my next mission. I am only working in my kitchen in this video. I had big giant plans of all the things I wanted to do. Um, so when I only got just the kitchen done on this day, I was a little disappointed with myself, but then again, I was like, this is why I've been avoiding doing the floors and like all of like the deep cleaning for a while. It's because it, you know, I give myself one day to film and whatever I can get done in that one day is it. Because then I need another day to edit and upload and everything and um honestly that's all Malcolm will tolerate <laughs> he's a very hands-on kid and I love playing with him and reading with him and we go outside a lot and we do um like we do gymnastics one one day a week I actually got his little pictures back from gymnastics and he's just so cute um and we just do we, you know we're busy doing other things so while I do like tidy and like try to keep my house clean between filming um 
a filming like if I'm going to do YouTube I had to tell myself that I, could, I give myself one day to do filming so this day literally took me all day just to clean the kitchen with breaks of course we had lunch um and uh like I had to sit down after I started doing the floors because you have to let the cleaner like marinate in the grout so um it took me quite a while to do the kitchen and you know I, I just need to let that be good enough I'm trying I'm trying to stop putting so much pressure and expectations on myself um and you know I hand it to these ladies that have multiple children and are able to film multiple videos a week but my husband um Here's another good before picture. My husband works away from the home most weeks and I'm kind of by myself. My oldest son um, works and is doing his own thing. My daughter's still in high school. So it's like, it's just me. So it's, I don't want to say single mom life, but definitely solo parenting is happening, happening most of the time during the week. So I want to be present. I want to, you know, make sure that Malcolm is having a good time. He plays wonderfully by himself. Thank goodness he finally has figured out how to play independently. Um, but the thing is, I get FOMO. Like, I want to hang out with him. He's a cool kid, and we have fun together, and I just don't want to miss out on anything because I'm like, oh, I need to film three days a week, or I need to do um, all this stuff. So, I'm trying to figure out how to balance my life so everything works out good. Um, but this is also to let you know that if you can only tackle one of your big, you know, all of us YouTubers are like, oh, we got so much done and like we do crazy whole house. Like I used to do so much in every single video and now it's like, you know what? To be realistic, I took one day and I did this deep clean and it took me all day. And if it takes you several days or one day as well to tackle one big project that you've been dreading, that is amazing and you're doing a good job. So here is the befores. I would love to rip up this tile, but it's going to be a big, huge disaster. And we're not ready for that yet. I'd rather just clean it and live with it. And we, we even um, sealed the grout, but it just doesn't happen. I don't, I, I don't know. I hate these floors. Um, you would think that like natural stone, travel team, travel team type floors would be like envy worthy. But I kind of miss my old, like, what did I have? I had linoleum in my kitchen in my last house. Maybe I'm just not bougie enough. I had, like, linoleum, and that stuff is so easy to clean. But this is what I found that works the best. People may disagree, but again, this is what works best. Some foaming bleach spray. You go over, and you fill in all of the grouts with the foam and bleach spray, and you let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. And then you... Scrub, scrub, scrub. So that's what I am doing. I am going around and I'm going to outline all of, and this whole bottle took up the entire um, floor. I actually have to get another bottle to get a couple areas that I haven't, that I like need to touch up. Um, but it works so well. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually have to be scrubbing bubbles as long as it's like a foaming bleach spray. The foam helps it stick in the grout versus it just going all over the place. And then also like the white makes it so you can see what you're doing. Um, but I used to get on my hands and knees and scrub all this on my hands and knees and my back is hurting. Um, and then it took me three times as long to do everything. So um, I'm super happy that I found a couple of tools, which I'll share with you real soon because i um, it, it really saves my back.
So this grout cleaning tool is amazing. It's kind of expensive. Um, I'll try and link it if it's still available from Amazon, but 10 out of 10, like love this thing. It does an amazing job. The little um, grout brush just like spins super fast and I just go over each section and um, just let it do its thing. I'm wearing little mop socks too because like I said, this whole floor is covered in bleach. These pants are actually like, you can get bleach on it and it doesn't affect the pants. Um, I actually found them from Instagram on Go Clean Co. She recommended these because she's a house cleaner and all her girls wear these leggings because they don't get like bleach. They don't get ruined from cleaning, you know, like bleach spots or different chemicals and stuff. I don't know what is in them, <laughs> but they, they're they amazing. Like I was kneeling on the floor and everything and these, these pants are perfectly fine. And this is my next one. It is called the Gloss Boss. Now this one, um, I don't know. This one I don't think I would buy again, but since I have it, I use it. And what it does is it scrubs and buffs the tops of the tiles, but it doesn't get into the flat grooves. Um, it does a good job, but I don't know. It was kind of expensive and I don't know. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, it's very lightweight. If you're a tall person, you're going to be bending over because the handle isn't very tall and it's hard to store, but it does help buff and scrub the tops of the tiles. But these natural stones have a, a bunch of pits and grooves in them. They're not flat, like say a porcelain tile. Um, and then stage three is going back through and mopping with just hot water to wipe up all of that bleach. And then I'll actually mop a couple times, but I'm only showing you the, like the first round of everything because this took the rest of the day and I was so over it and I was so tired <laughs> of dealing with these floors, but it had to be done. So I had run out of the bleach spray over on this section. So I kind of did the best I could over here. Like I said, I'm going to have to get another bottle um, and redo this section in a couple areas. But um, if you can see under that bar stool all the way to the right, the grout is supposed to be like light colored. Even though it does get darker when it's it's wet, it, does, it will dry lighter. Um, so this area is the pathway into the house. And this one right here gets so like scummy and dirty that I, it was just bugging the crap out of me and I needed to get <laughs> motivation to actually do it. Like I clean this kitchen weekly, but the grout just needs the special attention with the scrubbing um, because the tiles aren't flat like porcelain. I think I said that. And the grooves are really deep. So any kind of dirt or dirty water or like anything just kind of falls in the grooves of the grout lines and will stay there and stain so i finally got around to doing this even though i've been saying <laughs> that i was gonna do this since well before christmas time and it's at almost april already which is insane to me my birthday is coming up and then we have a lot of fun stuff coming up in april my husband and i are going away at the end of april um for our 15 year wedding anniversary, which I cannot even believe that. Um, our anniversary is actually in May, but May is way too booked up for us to go away. So we chose to go away at the end of April. And so I need to get this house straight. I need to pack. Um, I need to get it ready because my parents are gonna come and stay and take care of everything in the house while we're away. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun videos coming up about like getting your house ready for a guest and you know, um, I think I might like vlog our trip. 
I don't know, you know how bad I've been at vlogging, but here is the before shot again. And then I'll show you an after shot of the different sections. And to me, honestly, it was a huge difference. Um, as you can see, look how light that grout is. Some of the darker areas is just where it's not fully dried yet. Um, I do have some paint that I need to get in there and scrape out. Um, but overall, like this is the before again. And then here is the after so much better so much lighter um thank you so much for watching hopefully this motivated you to tackle an area in your home that you've been like putting off and just stressed about getting done um you can do it you can do it little by little you don't have to like dedicate your whole day week year to getting it done just tackle little portions and then once you get going usually um that motivates you enough to do what you gotta do so thank you so much for watching oh i need to replace that light bulb thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time